Hello everyone, my name is Spiracle and welcome back to Grounded. I finally broke and I looked up how to make a floor. So I'm going to head back over to the Oak Lab to speak to that strange little robot for a reason that may or may not be related to making a floor. No prizes for guessing it's related to making a floor. As we've previously learnt, that tree is wolf spider territory, so I guess let's hope nothing goes wrong. Hey, I know one of you is hoping something will go wrong. Cut that out. Those are some big clovers, and they have little flowers on the top. I want whatever that will give me. Okay, we're just swinging through it now. Okay then, I'll presume that's bugged. That's early access for you, I guess. They are not friendly. I know they're not friendly. There's another one. Leave me alone. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? You've seen me. Well, you're much more squishier than I expected you to be. Kind of wish those other ones did see me now, because you're all basically just free materials. I didn't quite quench my blood first, so I'm also going to dig up some grubs. Which was my other reason for coming here, because we need their goo to make smoothies. That's something I never wanted to say. I kind of feel bad for the grubs, but there's no time for remorse or disgust. We need smoothies. There's a wolf spider in there, isn't there? Don't come near me, and I won't come near you. It's a good arrangement, right? I'm spooked by these noises, but I'm a big manly man, and I'm not afraid of spooky, scary noises. Hello, please teach me how to make flooring. And there it is, multi-story bases. Solid floor that can also be used as a ceiling. That's kind of everything we needed, isn't it? So I don't mind if I do. I'll also scan our new materials to get that last bit of science for that other upgrade. Nice. That's all we can get for now. I have absolutely no clue how to use this scanner whatsoever. Saying there's science somewhere around here, but maybe it's above us outside the lab or something, because I can't see anything anywhere in here. So I guess that'll just be something that can annoy me from now on while I try to ignore it. Worthwhile investment. Let's dig up some more grubs because there is a 0% chance that a spider is going to interrupt us. Right, please. Our inventory is full as well, which is not great. I did not mean to eat that spoiled food. Good job, Pete. Good job. Yeah. Now you're dying. Well, at least our inventory is a little bit more empty now. I reckon that's enough materials. Let's run back as quickly as possible, finish building that chest, and then we won't have to deal with a full inventory anymore, which will be nice. Cook up some grubs, although I'm not hungry and I feel like they're just going to spoil. Also, completely scratch the idea of the bounce web being used to go up in the anthill, because unless we build a workbench over there, which means that we'd need to bring some grass planks into there, we're not getting that bounce web. Well, maybe I'll try that anyway, in the future. Also made a canteen out of the skin of grubs. I should really just lower my expectations. We're dealing with insects as a primary source here. Nothing is going to sound good. And hey, it's just like leather, right? Look, we have floors and we had enough grass lying around to actually make them. Ah, yeah, cool. I'm never going to use this now. All right, here it is. Smoothie station. We have enough grub goop. Again, not a sentence I ever wanted to say. Good God, what are you? That is... I am not comfortable with you. Also, yeah, all our meat spoiled. Great. Anyway, I reckon it's time to make some smoothies with the newest addition to my nightmares. I'm also not a fan of the name Grubgut. Or Grubgut? I'm not sure. Either way, I do not like it. Do not approve. Let's make an entirely mushroom smoothie, since we kind of only just have entirely mushrooms. That is one big thistle. We are getting a lot of needles out of this thing. And I am not letting these guys bully that weevil. I'm gonna... I would actually like to connect a shot. And um, we couldn't save the weevil because we just couldn't connect our shots, which is just great. But we still get our revenge. And we have a new mutation! Because we have murdered enough ants. Which now, I think, means we're going to be better at murdering ants in the future. Great. I'm going to take it as we can't knock down this thistle. So I'm just going to, I guess, collect 50 thistle needles since we've got 43 and it's going to bug me if we have an odd number now. All right, let's make our way back. I'm not exploring further with an inventory full of thistle. Let's put all them away real quick and then explore further on. What are we being attacked by? A mite. Just a tiny mite. They're jumping down from somewhere, which is annoying because I would like to just eliminate them all. But I guess we're not allowed such luxuries. But this is strange, and I'm going to pick every single one of these sprigs. Just picking sprigs and listening to the recording of a scientist who's gone slightly mad. This is the life. Oh, I guess we found a rotten lava blade? I'll have that. Don't mind if I do. Okay, sweet. That's just a slightly better version of our spears. And the spears have a terrible throwing mechanic, so I'll just replace them immediately, I guess. It can also be used as an axe. 
Also pretty cool. This gives us more options to kind of whittle down our inventory. There is a cobweb on that bit of grass, and I am concerned about how many spiders are around here. I wonder what will happen if I chop down this grass. Okay, I guess nothing. I suppose that means we can't do anything with that cobweb. Wonder what's under this plank. <coughs> that hole looks interesting. That is a sleeping orb weaver spider. Or dead. Hopefully dead. Either way, I'm going to save. I'm going to fight it. Never mind the throwing mechanic for that thing is also terrible. Uh, let's just take it on. I'm sure we can take it, right? I take everything back. This was a mistake. This was a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. Yep, we are dead. That's just... I kind of knew that would happen. That's why we saved. As I always say, none of that happened. That is a dream. The spider is no longer asleep. It knows exactly where we are. This was a horrible mistake. Have we just, have we just saved ourselves into a death loop here? Okay, dead again. Lesson learned this time, I'm just going to load and then run, and not stop running until I get home. We're loading, I'm prepared for this. Turn straight to the right and run. Just run, Pete. Run like your little legs have never run before. Well, you're not really conveying the urgency here, but you've got away, good job. I'll have to stop for a minute there, so let's just load up the last save that we had. Oh god, wait, am I still here? Where's the spider? It used to be down- Oh, there's the spider! Okay. Uh, can I run, please? Why am I crouching? Run. That thing's gonna catch up to me, isn't it? Keep running, Pete. Yeah, that thing's definitely gonna catch- Yep, there we go. I'm stuck in grass. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely dead here. I'm just gonna throw this thing into it. Why not? But I put up a fight. Right, now, plan this time. Exactly like how we got away last time. Just turn straight away and just run. Immediately. No time to take anything in. Just run. Okay, with well, the spiders down there, that's a good start. So let's just run. Keep running. Again, not really conveying any urgency here, but I'll take it. We're away. Now I'm going to make sure we're actually saved here. I'm going to take this all out on the aphid. Okay, I guess up you go. Coming back down. Nope. Okay, well, that's some amazing gravity-defying powers right there, but maybe these aphids are stronger than I thought. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not sure why I did that. I don't think I needed aphid meat for anything. I'm just killing for the sake of it now, aren't I? I've truly devolved into a monster. I guess we get to analyse this now. Which is great because now we can make slippers out of the corpses of two aphids, I presume. That does not sound like something I would consider great. Yeah, you're not going to waste. I am going to cook you. Get rid of those spears out of my inventory. So that's our inventory cleaned up a bit. I hear a weevil being murdered. Yep, I'm going to kill those ants. Screw you. And screw you. Now they're both running away. And they're both dead. Oh. Now I know why. I forgot that that sword is actually poisonous, so it will do damage over time as well. It's also almost half broken, so I guess that thing isn't quite as durable as I'd like. So I'm going to make a bow and make some arrows out of all those thistle needles I collected. Well, not needing any thistle needles, because I mean I might as well. They're kind of just going to sit there. I don't know what else to use them for. As everything sorted, let's sleep, and in the morning, let's go hunting. There is a spider over there. Um, doesn't even notice me. Yeah, I can take you. Setting webs up everywhere. Don't want that. Okay, I missed that. He's a flying straight though, I'm just aiming badly. Yep. Yep. Okay, now it's sitting still. Should definitely hit this. There we go. That did not do as much damage as I hoped it would. Okay, yeah. That was a mistake! I should not have put any hope into that bow. Why did I do that? I think we could use some better armour, actually. To make some arm guards. I guess let's make them real quick. Since we don't have any protection on our arms. Our inventory is kind of running out of space though. So. Oh wait, it's a chest piece. I would have thought you could have both of those things equipped at the same time. You know, one's a poncho and one's arm guards. Well alright then, I mean, I guess I'll just leave my chest completely open to attack. That is, I'm sure that's pretty protected, I'm sure that'll be fine. That makes about as much sense as any female armour in any video game. So, who am I to complain? I'm gonna take this ant out. Yeah, I don't miss those shots. Well, it looks like we're on our way to being a full-fledged sniper now. We hit two targets so far. Both of them weren't moving, and one of them was at point blank. So yeah, I'd say we're on our way. Oh, there's the science. It's up there. Yeah, I don't know how to get there, so I'm going to ignore that. Well, I kind of just walked off into the wilderness until I found anything, but I didn't find anything, so I suppose I'll just collect up some more acorns then. Guess I'll make my way back. I was really expecting to run into something. I'm not sure why that was so smooth. There's a spider over there. 
But I mean, I'm not going to force myself to interact with it or anything. We don't need to do that. Always just walk away. I mean, yeah, haven't seen anything whatsoever. Not even a single spider that was over there or anything. I would have I would have thought anything I saw, so I guess lucky spiders that I didn't see anywhere at all. Let's make a smoothie out of some roasted gnat, bits of acorn, and a mushroom. That sounds appetizing, right? It's better than G Fuel. I'm sure I've drank worse. Gonna make some acorn greaves, which are not called greaves. They're called leg plates, but I'm gonna call them greaves because I like the word greaves. Alright, those feel like they might actually protect me, since you know they're not leaves. Oh, I am 100% gonna snipe that aphid. The poor thing wandered directly into my firing range. I did not mean to do that, and I don't know where that went. Well, okay then. I guess uh, aphid has earned the right to live. There is a ladybird there, which gives me the perfect opportunity to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Ouch. Jesus, you do hurt. I'm not going to get close to you. I'm just going to leave you there and let's snipe you. This thing is already starting to look like a pincushion. I also feel terrible because of the noises it makes every single time it gets hit. And it's the fact it's a ladybird and I like them. That one was straight in the antenna. That would have hurt. We've hit five shots straight in the antenna in the time of me saying that. I'm just going to have to finish this thing off. It's the kindest thing to do now. Maybe I didn't have to rodeo it, you know. But why not? Okay, well, that kind of just exploded. Guess time to pick up all of our arrows. Oh god, they are everywhere. They're in the floor. They're in that weird machine. They're just they're just everywhere. Well, it almost destroyed the scaffolding for our house there, actually. But luckily enough, we're not doing anything with that house, and I really don't care. <laughs> Gonna make my way over to scan those ladybird bits. Killing anything we see along the way, like that ant. Sweet. More armor. Not like I just upgraded. But, I mean, I'm not going to be able to make that yet anyway, so I'm not bothered. I'm probably quite far off making that, actually. In an ideal world, that ladybird that we killed would have dropped a head. Because then I believe that would give me the schematics for making tier 2 tools. Or some of them, at least. But, it is what it is. Now we know how to make a faceplate that looks horrifying. A chest piece that looks horrifying. And shin guards that look horrifying. And we can't make any of them yet, as I predicted. I don't even know how to get or make any of that stuff. Guess we'll just go with it and see what happens. Oh, there's my arrow. It ended up very, very deep into this pool. So, we're working our way up the food chain. And yet another back garden arthropod has fallen to Psycho Pete's grubby little hands. Progress has certainly been made. And that means I'm happy to call this one here. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see future content like this. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.